How is it going? Um, so, obviously, we, we've been knowing about, or known about David and what's kind of been happening with him and Jeff for a while. And, you know, um, the Vlog Squad was one of David's babies, you know? I mean, they, the, Vlog Squad was, the Vlog Squad was a group of friends, got together, used to make vlogs with David all the time. But now, it seems that it has broken apart. Seems like everyone's gone their own way, which is totally understandable with how everything went down with David. Um, which he's still making a great amount of money on uh, on Snapchat, but I kind of stopped following him after a while because I kind of got tired of his stuff. Um, nothing, nothing that had to do with Jeff, but just as I got older, his stuff kind of stopped, started getting boring to me. But we're here to talk about the Vlog Squad. The Vlog Squad was some of those some of the most funniest people on Vine back in the day. Um, I really do think Liza was kind of the glue that stuck all of it together. And when she left, everything kind of just went downhill. But, you know, I mean, life happens. I mean, you offer deals that you make, give you more money and give you the opportunity to just do more than what you're doing. Um, which I don't blame Liza for doing that. But you can always tell there's an element of weird stuff happening in David's vlogs that was odd. Um, to say the least. Um, I mean, a lot of his, uh, like, car giveaways were, like, just for views. Just to make him look like a better dude. And, uh, once he'd give someone a car, he'd be like, oh, hey, I need that back. I can't actually afford it. Which kind of sucks, you know? Um, but, you know... I, I kind of lost respect for some of them, some of the members, um, some of them I gained more respect through, um, because me and them share, share the same viewpoints in life, like me and Big Nick, me and him share a lot of the same values, um, Scotty Sire, I kind of lost respect for him, uh, just, just, I don't know, it's just, he changed, and you know, I don't, I get people go through stuff, but he changed for the worst, I think. Um, Elton kind of got boring after a while. TFIL kind of got boring, and that's sad because I really liked Elton. Elton was an amazing guy, and Sam and Kobe. They were kind of off on David's vlogs, but Sam and Kobe, I I just could never get into. They seem like great dudes, but I just can't get into them. And then um, Heath and his girlfriend, I still like. I still enjoy watching their stuff, but it's just sad to see all these people who were successful in Vine kind of fell off and just not be as relevant as they were. And I get it, they can just easily live off the money that their videos are making just from views. But still, it is quite sad to see that they are kind of just burned out, you know, if that makes sense. And like, it's just, I used to respect all of them so much and I looked forward to the content and um, I don't know, I just, it's sad to see a group like that, because that's everyone's dream back in the day, was to have a friend group that used to vlog and make content with each other, and now it's just more or less like an inconvenience, everyone has, 
drama with everyone and it's just sad to see that that kind of stuff happens. I don't want that kind of stuff to happen with me and my friends if any of my friends decide to start making content. But still, it's it's just kind of sad. Um, the, the vlog squad I don't think will ever be the same, sadly. And you know, each group evolves. But the, the vlog squad was definitely like one of the biggest staples on YouTube for a long time. And after David's incident with Jeff, it kind of just disapparated. Um, it's just sad, you know, because YouTube from 2016 till the incident with Jeff and David was prime time because they were all just such good content creators. Uh, except for Jason. Jason was kind of annoying, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, keep popping.